On the line for the Norfolk State basketball team tonight was what I'd like to call the two for one special. First, a win would clinch the regular season MEAC championship, the fourth in program history. And second, it would avenge a loss to vaunted rival North Carolina Central. Remember, the Eagles beat NSU 70 to 67 in Durham. That was on January 31st. The Spartans were one half court heave from taking that game into overtime. Safe to say they were ready for this one tonight at Joe Eccles Hall on the NSU campus. Joe Bryant entering, leading this team throughout the season. Robert Jones, what a job he's done this year. First possession of the game. How about a backdoor alley-oop to Chris Bankston? The assist from Tyrese Jenkins, Jenkins an emphatic start to what was symbolic for the rest of the game. NSU started on an 11-4 run a little later. He's a lean, mean dunking machine. Bankston again, this time off the pick and roll from Jalen Hawkins. Now, Joe Bryant splits the double team pass to Hawkins, kicks it over to Dana Tate. Corner three, that's good. 18 to 9, Spartans leading at that point. Two minutes to play in the first half now. Off the steal, Tyrese Jenkins, two handed slam. 44 to 17. NSU was rolling. You think they remember that game a month ago? Under a minute left in the first half. Tate here gets it in the perimeter, drives left, finishes with the right. How about 76 to 46? The final of this one, and that's right, cut the nets down at Joe Eccles Hall and let the celebration begin. The Spartans taking in the wonderful night. Here's Nathan Epstein with more. There was already a celebratory feel inside Joe Eccles Hall because of a Mardi Gras theme, but the green and gold inside Joe Eccles Hall took it to a whole new level as the confetti fell, the band blared, and the Norfolk State Spartans cut down the nets as MEAC regular season champions for back to back seasons. I mean, it's going to go down as the best win percentage team in school history, I think. You know, I mean, we have 20 and 6 right now, and um, I'm just so proud of these guys. You know, I think that whenever anybody leaves, you know, whether when these guys graduate, when I'm not here anymore, the legacy is going to be there. Yeah. It means a lot. You know, all the, the hometown kids back at, at, back at the crib, they can, they can come right, right across the street and still get a good degree and be, be under a winning program. So it means a lot. But the job's not over yet, is it? You still got that tournament down at Scope. Tell me about what you guys, what the motivation is, what the mindset is heading forward. Um, we're using this win as motivation. Um, next day at practice, you know, just locking in. We, we got another, another, another game against Howard, so we get ready for them. And then whatever happens in the tournament happens. But you heard most of the Spartans say the job is not done. One more regular season game to go against Howard, and then it's that MEAC tournament at Scope with a chance to go to the NCAA tournament on the line. In Norfolk, Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap. Love that emotion.